morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'm glad you've been able to join me. I count it a privilege to be able to come into your homes and speak with you from God's precious word. We're going to be looking at Romans chapter 8 and it's verse 32 in particular that I want us to think about this morning. And the little title I've given to the thought is simply this, No Limit to His Love. Isn't that tremendous? No limit to his love. Verse 32 says this, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Have you ever wondered how much a certain person loves you? A young child may ask his parents, and his parents give the reply. Many a time I ask my own mum, How much do you love me, mum? And my mum would say to me, All the money in the world. And then she would add, all the tea in China. A young man may ask his young lady, how much do you love me? And she will say, enough to spend the rest of my life with you. Isn't it marvelous when that's true and when it's really meant from the bottom of their heart. There are many ways of expressing our love for one another. There are some that would even lay down their lives for their friends. Many have laid down their lives for their country. But I guarantee you this morning, there is no love like the love of God. Verse 32, I repeat it. It says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? The love of God, so vast and so free. He gave his own son, not for his friends, but for his enemies also. And the amazing fact of this verse is that God not only gave his son, but that Jesus was glad to come. And we who know him as our Saviour and our Lord will lack no good thing. How much does God love us? Well, the answer is found right there in that verse. If he has loved us enough that he has given us his Son, then we, there is nothing that he will withhold from us. All the love of God. That is all the good things, all the things that would benefit us, he would allow us to receive. He is our Heavenly Father and his love is so great and so vast. In verse 35 to 39, there's a list of things that we may think could separate us. But nothing is able to separate us from the love of God. Let me read you that list quickly. It says, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, for we are more than conquerors to him that loved us and gave himself for us. Remember, friends, there is no limit to his love. God bless you, and I look forward to being with you again tomorrow morning.